The following parody video is entirely AI voiced, but written by some dweeby Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Please support the official release. We've been here before. You sure? Yep. And tell me, what landmark are you using in the big swirling rainbow disaster we've been driving down? You see that splotch on the horizon? Kinda looks like the eye of a hurricane. That spot that's continued to remain out of our reach? That's the one. He's saying we've been going nowhere. That's because we're going too slow. We're never gonna catch Paradox at this rate. We also can't drive much faster. The others wouldn't be able to keep up with our dual runners. I'm pretty sure this is some kind of treadmill for dual runners. I hate it. Well then how did Paradox get out? By using the dual runner that was clearly built for time travel, we just drove in here with dual runners. Not meant for time travel. I think the time stream he left open was a trap, Jack. And now the Crimson Dragon can't even get to us. Last time, it took three of us to beat him, including the King of Games. And speaking of games, Paradox seems to have stepped up his. Don't even think about giving up! You had a king help you before, and you have one now. One that might even be mightier! Wow, Jack. I'm not giving up, I'm just thinking. I just don't think going faster is the answer here. Neither is spinning our wheels. I know you love the Master of Faster title, but there's no hints that going faster would even help. We need to think outside the box, like driving backwards. You can't be serious. He'd never expect it. That's because it's stupid. I also don't expect my enemies to defeat themselves. So we're going to lock his dual disc when we find him, right? Or are we punching Come on, Crow. It's not like I make a habit of just decking everyone I have a problem with. Violence isn't going to be the answer, but it could be. Ah, what's going on? Nothing good. My puzzle is going crazy. A bunch of strong dueling energy just popped up out of thin air. What's that even mean? I, uh, I got this friend who is keen on that stuff. I'm seeing a lot of old faces show up, and I don't like any of them. I step away for one second and the stupid magic nonsense alarm goes off. That would have been nice when we were dealing with the Shadow Riders. It would also be nice if you stopped complaining. We're in trouble. Thank you for filling in for the alarm, Ishizu. No one could tell with the random light show on the horizon. Or the sudden storm. I don't know who is responsible, but they've come here with an army of duelists from alternate realities. Even I'm not rich enough to buy that. Amaric is here. I can see him. But our Marek is still out delivering pizza. The Marek here won Battle City. Ouch. I must have bricked really hard. Don't tell me you're believing this crap. Never mind, of course you are. Hey, Yugi. Did you know the Earth is flat? It's really not. What does it matter? If they're just really good imitators, it's still a problem. Jaden and I had to battle a time traveler before, but I thought we destroyed him. He may have reversed time mid-blast and survived. What? Or it's just another one from another timeline. No. Or it's a super advanced dueling robot. Probably not. Or it's someone with really good illusion powers. There's a lot of answers it could be. Get serious, slacker. This is all sounding very confusing. Let me simplify it for you. You'll have to duel them off. Where's the one calling himself Paradox? The spirit of the Millennium Ring is seeking you, Yugi. If you go for Paradox first, the spirit will attack you in the middle of your duel. That tracks. Fine. I'll take care of him first. You should bring back up. Another will try to fight you as well. An Atlantean with green hair. Darts. I'll take care of No, him. Kaiba. Pegasus, the one I saw in my vision, is going to be looking for you. He'll take your soul in the middle of your duel. Then I'll just destroy him. But you'll need backup, too. More from your past will be trying to get in on your duel. I'll join him. If your heart can take it, Mokuba, stay close. You too, Sai. Perhaps Joey could- Sorry, Yugi. I'm going after Merrick. Take help, please. I'll demolish my duel before you do, slacker. Kaiba, Joey, wait. Take these. Really, Yug? Have a feeling they'll help. Like I need- Kaiba! Fine. It'll just make me crush Pegasus all the faster and then move on to this so-called Paradox. That's his actual name, far as I know. That's stupid. Paradox is no joke. It took three of us to beat him. He's got future cards and dueling strategies. I'm light years ahead of the competition. I'll make him feel obsolete. Come on, Chaz. Don't want Merrick running into mine. Damn it, Slacker. Where is my? So my attack was anticipated. I didn't expect that. In a manner of speaking. I can't help but notice the collection of psychopaths you brought back with you. 
and that I recognized most of them. All duelists who were victorious in their conquests, but still held ambitions. Oh, great. Darts is here. So we just need to defeat you, and you'll undo this. Never! Duel monsters destroyed my life. I've thought the same before, but you can always recover. Duel monsters destroys the entire world. Explain to me how you recover from that. Wow, he's serious. Hey, I'm sure you get this question a lot, but how? That's a long and complicated story. But eventually, the technology got so real that Dual Monsters holograms become actual weapons. Cursed Kyber Corp, and the industry always striving for realism. So instead of pulling guns on people, they're just playing Raigiki on people. And it's killing them. You see the future clearly. But then, huh? Why is my dual disc updating? We're going to duel. The two of you against me. I'll show you the horrors that await. Unfortunately, due to time travel imperfections, I can't crush you with the parallel summoning. You lack a parallel zone in this timeline. Or the Limbo Hand. No idea what you're even talking about. The Limbo Hand is a new mechanic introduced in 2067. It's a second hand. That's called the graveyard. No, that's the graveyard being used like a second hand. The Limbo Hand is... Oh, it doesn't even matter. Parallel summoning is where the game really went downhill. Whoever thought it was a good idea to start allowing your main deck to summon from the side deck. And don't even get me started on focus summoning. Okay, so don't. We'll duel you. Great. Don't worry. I'm sure the duelists he fought before were chumps. We got this. Yugi, Jaden, and a man from the future called Yusei. They barely defeated me. Okay. My, change of plans. Bust out the A-game decks. I just can't get away from it. I have a question for both of you. While your dual discs finish upgrading, do you know what 4,000 damage does to a person? Takes away 4,000 life points? You're about to find out. <laughs> he will try to take your soul. You sure you want to be here? Yeah, what else is new? Nah, I got this. He has a monster that has infinite attack points. Watch out for that. Magic cylinder work on it? That'd be funny, but no. He can be at zero life points and it will keep him in the duel. Going to slot in a forbidden droplet then? Pharaoh, funny seeing you again. I'd try to talk you out of this, but I can tell from that look on your face you're already convinced of your victory. Pharaoh! You're too late! Hey, Aquaman! Could I interest you in a duel while we wait? Wait, is that because I'm Atlantean or...? Blue hair, man! I accept your challenge, but you should know, your very soul will- Yeah, fine. Soul on the line. Let's duel. You would be a fool to take my powers lightly, but you will feed the Great Leviathan all the same. You gotta get the Great Leviathan on a more sustainable diet. Perfect. No distractions now. Your souls are on the line, too. I'll let your imagination fill in the blanks for what your fate will be. I activate the Seal of Orichalcos. It never fails. I'll start things off by summoning Torguide of the Underworld. All right, yeah, sure. Should have expected you'd want to go first. Its special ability will summon out the fiendish Rhino Warrior. Then, I'll overlay them to Ixis, summon the Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Ixie summoning, huh? That still happened? I picked this up during our trip through the interdimensional time highway from some punk kid. I end my turn. One monster with 2,000 attack? No back row? That's a pretty mid-opener. Ah, you're too kind. If you're just going to throw weak attack monsters like Battle City, I'm going to wipe you out. I draw. I summon Artillery Catapult Turtle, who could easily have fended off your assault, but instead... He's going to end this duel on turn two. I'm shaking. I activate its effect to special summon. I'm going to discard Max C. Now whenever you special summon a monster, I get to draw a card. You won't last long enough to use them. I summon Gaia the Magical Knight, who has the ability to special summon a level five dragon monster from my hand or graveyard in defense position. I draw and draw again. I summon Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Are we going to address that? Your precious souls are on the line, and you're making jokes. No, that's... it's literally what the card is called. Huh, so it is. Is this some passive-aggressive mockery on the part of Pegasus? 
Pegasus gave up on the name, I don't know, but not the effect. I'm going to activate its effect to add one spell from my deck that lists Gaia the Dragon Champion, and I'll Let's choose... Let's just put an end to this Max C challenge, shall we? I discard Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring to negate that effect. Did you draw into it, or were you just holding it? Yes. Then I'll play Triple Tactics Talent and draw two cards. I've drawn Palladium Oracle Mahad, which lets me summon him straight to the field. I'll attack your Phantom Knight, and since he's a dark monster... Mahad's attack points double to 5,000! Because my fiendish rhino warrior was sent to the graveyard, I get to send another fiend along with it. But I'm also going to chain Abominable Unchained Soul. Because you destroyed a card of mine, its special summons itself from my hand to the field. And I'll send Diabolica the Draconic General to the grave. 3,000 attack? And when the Unchained Soul is summoned, I can discard a card to destroy one card on the field. I'll pick your Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Ah! To be clear with you, I destroyed it because I never want to say that name again. Just going to Will Monster Reborn to the top of my deck. He's up to something. Because Diabolica was sent to the grave by an effect, she can return one fiend monster to my hand and I'll make it my fiendish rhino warrior. I'll set two cards and end my turn. So, still think it was a mid-opener? Not impressed. You took 3,000 damage to summon a 3,000 attack monster. So I did. I play Pot of Greed. Hold up. This lets me draw two cards from my deck. That's banned. Do I look like I care? I'm here for your soul, you fool. Be glad I'm not making overpowered cards like that Atlantean fool. That's true, I wonder hey, how- Hey, Yugi, you winning? Jaden, did you win already? Hey, how's it going? And yeah, I did. Just like that? Oh, he like really bricked. I stopped his first summon and then barely had to do anything. I beat him on turn three. Then the card took his soul, I guess. I don't know. He fell over. That's just embarrassing. At least stack your deck or something. Everyone bricks eventually. I draw my two cards. Right. I'll shut up. And watch for other duelists that try to stop this. Then we can go take down Paradox. I play Dark Spirit Mastery. By discarding my fiendish Rhino Warrior, I add the Destiny Board from my deck to my hand. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't that Wincon like super trash? It is. You almost lost You almost it. died on turn six. I just felt bad and thought you bricked. So I took it easy. Neither of us were playing our best. Because fiendish Rhino Warrior was sent to the grave again, I send my Diabound Colonel to the graveyard. And because I sent a fiend monster, Diabolica summons herself from the grave to my field. Next, I banish three fiend monsters from my graveyard to summon Dark Necrofear. Next, I'll activate Change of Heart on your Oracle Mahad. Hmm, I see. He was setting us up. He's 300 shy of a lethal blow. Don't worry. Oh, it's you. Hello. I overlay Oracle Mahad and Diabolica to Ixies. Summon the zombie vampire. All right. You're using banned cards, and now you're not even summoning, right? That's a rank 8 Ixies monster. Mahad was a level 7 and wouldn't be eligible. Because Mahad was your monster. He becomes a level 8 for the purpose of Zombie Vampire. That's such a good monster. I activate the Zombie Vampire's effect. By detaching Diabolica, we each send the top four cards of our deck to the grave. Then I can summon a monster among any of them sent. Yours or mine. Note to Yugi, we need to look up this card. It was a secret rare in Battle of Chaos. Wow, you just know, huh? Jaden constantly looks this stuff up. Look. H and A of your destiny board were sent to the grave. That's funny in a few ways. Ha! Oh, I get it. With the zombie vampire's effect, I special summon Cursed Necrophia! And now he has lethal. Because a level 8 fiend was sent to the graveyard, Dark Spirit of Malice returns to my hand. If it will even matter, I'm about to end this duel. I attack with the zombie vampire. Oh, well, Gaia is destroyed. Wait, don't tell me you, Brick, too. My unchained soul attacks. I activate Magikaribo. I'll chain my Dark Spirit of Malice 
because you decided to play the game at all. I can special summon a level 8 fiend monster from my graveyard, but its effects are negated. I'm going to chain Mirror Force! Bah! As for your monsters, now you see them, and now you don't. Ah! I summon Diabolica in defense mode. And I'll summon the Dark Magician from my deck! I set two cards and end my turn. Though you may soon wish you hadn't resisted. I have some surprises in store for you, Pharaoh. Big surprises. But first, in the end phase, because it was destroyed by a card effect, the Unchained Soul summons itself from my graveyard. As does Curse Necrofear and Dark Necrofear will equip to your Dark Magician and belong to me. Not if I activate Secrets of Dark Magic! This will let me fuse the Dark Magician on my field with the Dark Magician girl in my hand! And together, they resist the Dark Necrofear! For now. That's still quite the lineup to stare down. It won't be for much longer. I draw! I activate Soul Servant! This lets me place a card on the top of my deck as long as it contains Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl in the card text. And I choose Eternal Soul. Now, because the Dark Magicians are on my field, when a spell or trap is activated, I can draw one card. And if it is a spell or trap, I can set and activate it this turn, if I so choose. Hey, right on! Nice combo! We know it's Eternal Soul, so it's getting set. I'll activate Soul Servant's Graveyard Effect. By banishing it, I can draw three cards, because three eligible magicians are in my graveyard. Next, I'll use Eternal Soul to grab Dark Magic Attack, so I can destroy Destiny Board when I feel like it. That Wind Con needs some serious love. We'll see. I'll summon Alpha, the Electromagnetic Warrior, who lets me add Berserkirion, the Electromagna Warrior, to my hand. And because your zombie vampire so generously sent the other pieces to my graveyard, I banish Alpha, Beta, and Gamma to summon Berserkirion. So much work, Pharaoh, for so little. We'll see if you still think that after Berserkirion attacks. I'll take 200 damage and activate Split Mirror of the Underworld. I can special summon one monster from my graveyard with attack less than or equal to the damage I took. And I'll be summoning Ash Blossom. That's not going to guard your life points for long ah. because... <laughs> Your battle phase is over, Pharaoh, thanks to my trap. I see. Wait. Only now do you see that the stage is set. You must have an Egyptian god. No. No. <laughs> Something even better. I end my turn. Good. Now let the fun begin. Destiny Board activates, and because of when I activated it, the second card is automatically activated on the field and Curse Necrofear returns to the field. And because I have two face-up cards in my spell and trap zone, I get to destroy two cards. I'll pick Eternal Soul and your Dark Magicians. While the Dark Magicians split back into two, Eternal Soul destroys my entire field, which stops Berserkirion from splitting up since it was destroyed by my own card effect. But Magikuribo does return to my hand. Another fool, lost to the shadows. These sacred beasts sure are much easier to summon. Merrick! Okay, who am I dueling? Not the spiky-headed one. He's mine. I know we're not dueling, slacker. Not the... You don't have a glowing eye on your forehead, Nimrod. If you're so eager to feed the sacred beasts, I'll be more than happy to invite you to the feast. Oh, great. Not those cards. Most of them have, like, 4,000 attack. Won't matter. I'll crush him. Slacker, you're still running red eyes? Yeah. Take this card. Should be easy enough for even you to figure out. Everyone's giving me stuff, huh? Yeah, go on. You'll make good use of it. I'll use it then. Use whatever you like, you... Wait a minute. Something is strange about your deck. It's got the cards of another. Cards from Yugi and Mai, and my new bud Chaz here, too. Dual systems online. Satellites deployed. It's that guy I never heard of, but I know he's really rich and has crazy tech. He has satellites that send you to the Shadow Realm. How does that even work? Actually, they just kill their target. After I serve my targets the most bitter of defeats, 
Total helplessness. I guess went missing is technically true. Be careful, Chaz. His cards are unbalanced garbage. Then I'll just have to hit him with some unbalanced garbage of my own. My cards are honed to perfection, the cybernetic six samurai. You will bow before their precision and really cool tech. The shadows grow impatient, little Joe. Great! And oh, make it a shadow game. Right now. Same we had before. You want us to feel the pain of the duel again. Normally, I try to cook up exciting new ways to inflict misery. You must be confident, because I don't have Ra right now. Very well. Let the shadows consume this duel. I'm starting! By all means, serve up my first victims. I'm activating Red Eyes Fusion. I get to use fusion materials from my deck, but I can't summon anything else for the rest of the turn. I'll be sending Red Eyes Soul and Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon to the grave. I'll be summoning Meteor Black Comet Dragon. But because I use Red Eyes Fusion, He's gonna take on the name of Red Eyes Black Dragon, and his effect will activate! I'll send Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning to the grave to inflict 1250 damage to you automatically! Urgh, someone is eager to inflict pain! Good! You're going to burn, Merrick! This, I promise you! We'll burn together, but only one of us has the fortitude to endure it. Next! I'll equip Black Metal Dragon onto Meteor Black Comet Dragon, which I can do because he has the Red Eyes name. This makes his attack 4100, just strong enough to get over the number Chaz mentioned. Then I'll play Supply Squad. For every monster you destroy, I get to draw a card. Then I'll set a monster and end my turn. Ah, uh, you can't summon, but you can set. I respect the loophole abuse. Let the destruction commence. I draw. Was it smart or cowardly for you to make a 4100 monster? Uh, you jealous? It isn't smart. It's a meager shield against this deck. First, I'll play Opening of the Spirit Gates. And just for activating it, a sacred beast is added to my hand. I'll add Raviel, the Lord of Phantasms. Then I'll play Chaos Summoning Beast. And... It has zero attack and defense points. Isn't that strange? Come on, man. I know you got a trap or it has some special ability. Let's not waste time. Uh, that usually always gives someone pause. Yeah, not these days. Fine. The pain will start sooner. I tribute the Chaos Summoning Beast to Special Summon Raviel, the Lord of Phantasms, who normally needs three fiends to be sacrificed to summon him. But I've done it with just one card. I mean, if we want to get nitpicky, like two. But yeah, big monster. Easy summoning condition. Welcome to modern. You got any scary plays to make? First, I'll banish Chaos Summoning Beast from my grave to add Fallen Paradise to my hand. Then I'll play it. Now you can't target any of my sacred beasts with card effects. And every turn, so long as I have one on my field, I get to draw two cards. Well, that's gotta go. I think I'll tell Raviel to attack your Meteor Black Comet Dragon. And I think he'll lose unless... Ah, oh, damn it! Old habits, man. I swear. That's right. I discard Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. Shimmering Scraper. This doubles his current attack to 8,000. What? Ah! Oh. <laughs> because a Supply Squad, I draw a card. And because a Meteor Black Comet Dragon, I summon Red-Eyes Archfiend of Lightning from my grave in defense mode. And Black Metal Dragon adds a Red-Eyes card from my deck to my hand. I'll choose Red-Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Did I mention Raviel can now attack all of your monsters? Uh, are you kidding me? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> you destroyed Red-Eyes Baby Dragon. This lets me summon a Red-Eyes monster from my deck. It's just going to be destroyed. I summon Red-Eyes Gear Free. And Red-Eyes Baby Dragon equips himself to him. This lets me activate his effect. By destroying his equip, Gear Free can destroy one spell or trap on the field. And I choose your Fallen Paradise. 
Then, because Red Eye's baby dragon was sent to the grave this way, I'll add Black Metal Dragon back to my hand. Unsurprisingly, Gearfried is destroyed. Remember, you asked for this, little Joey. I set three cards and end my turn. Uh, that was awful. Told you, this guy is pretty bad too. Nothing I do touches his life points. He has hundreds of contingencies, and I'm pretty sure his satellite is looking at my hand. Yeah, I forgot to mention he cheats. That would have been helpful information, slacker. Stop stalling! You can't stop your fate now! You're right, I draw. I'm going to discard Red Eye's Wyvern to play one for one. This will special summon Blackstone of Legend from my deck. Hold on a moment! I play Awakening of the Sacred Beasts. It gains more effects the more sacred beasts I have on the field. For now, because I have one, I gain life points equal to the attack points of any monster you summon. If that's the effect for one, I don't think I want to find out about the other effects. But I can't play passively. He already has my back to the wall. I'm going to banish my Black Stone of Legend to special. Summon my Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Wait, isn't that evil? The metal stops it from being evil. Or I'm too strong to be possessed. Dunno. I gained 2800 life points. I'll use its ability to summon a dragon from my grave or hand. I'll choose my Red Eyes Soul. That's another 900 for me. And you still aren't close to being able to defeat Raphael. That's about to change. See, because my new pal Chaz here is alright, and I have exactly five dark monsters in my grave, I can Ixie summon dark-armed the Dragon of Annihilation! That just gives me another 2800, you fool! Now, I have over 13,000 life points! <laughs> I activate the effect of dark-armed. By detaching my red-eye soul, I'm gonna pick a card on the field to blow up, and I'll choose your Raviel. I have to banish a card in my graveyard as a cost, but for now, I'll also banish my Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon to add another Red Eyes Fusion to my hand. You're wide open! Dark Armed can't attack this turn, so you're up, Red Eyes. Neither can attack this turn. Your Red Eyes is trapped by my Nightmare Wheel. Have you had the honor of suffering to it before? Yeah, Red Eyes can't attack, and I take 500 damage during each standby phase. But I ain't worried. At the end of my turn, I'm banishing Red Eyes Wyvern, and my Red Eyes Gearfried is coming back! For vowing to make me burn, I seem to have over triple your life points. Good. You got a lot to burn for. And I have a lot to burn you with. Could either of you toss me some burn cards? I haven't damaged this guy for like six turns now. You face an army of cybernetic six samurai. And they just have random effects that make you avoid taking any damage or banish my entire hand. Just make up a card and buy it off Pegasus or something. You're rich enough, right? What like? It was a joke. The future is now. With the Kaiba Corp technology, I'm unstoppable. Can't wait for him to find out how highly hackable that tech is. Especially if Kaiba himself wasn't updating it. Hackable, huh? I get it. You aren't worried? Exactly how far into the future did you supposedly look? I've learned I can't trust my visions with you. So, who are these people from Kaiba's past? It doesn't matter. I'll crush Pegasus in two turns and then deal with it myself. Gozaburo and Noah Kaiba, in the bodies of Kaiba and his brother. What? Do they have the power to steal souls, too? Only with technology. You're not touching them. I'll deal with them. You're going to duel three-on-one now? Come on. I don't think you'll be able to handle two-on-one. I'll duel, too. Don't make me laugh. He's an enrolled duelist at your school. I'll help him. We should duel Noah, Cyrus. I know him. Kind of. Also, it would be hard to duel against someone that looks like my brother. Right. They'll handle Noah, then. I'll handle Gozaburo. Kaiba boy, so strange to see you up and about with your soul. And someone else taking your body for a spin. He uses an Exodia Necros deck last I checked. If you don't have anything to deal with his graveyard, you're not going to be killing his monster. And if he was adhering to a ban list, it's not going to be the same as ours. 
so destroy him before his attack gets too high. Easy. I will laugh if you get turn one Exodiad, though. That'll be quite the feat, considering you won't have a soul to laugh with. Much like the Kaiba and Mokuba of my time. Quit with the theatrics and let's duel. Should I toy with you again? It's quite easy when I can see every move before you make it. Try it. See what happens. Stop right there. Get out of my way, boy. I have no business with you. I didn't know Kaiba could sound more ridiculous. But congratulations. You've managed. You're dueling me. Fine! You'll serve as amusement. An insect to crush at my leisure while I wait for my son to finish his duel. <laughs> Give it your best shot. Noah, you don't have to do this! Yes, yes I do! Oh, this is going to be very confusing. His cards are good. We're going to have to be careful. Right. I'll start this off. What if I wanted to go first, hmm? How about a rousing round of rock, paper, scissors? Absolutely not. Wise, get off a move before I can throw down counters. But I knew you would do that. Let's take a look at what you have in your hand. Right, hold on. What's going on? I'm not seeing anything. I've advanced my tech quite far since you last dueled me. Not only will you not be able to take my soul, but you won't be able to read my cards either. Impossible. That doesn't even make sense. It's ancient magic. Spoken like someone who only ever scratched the surface of greatness. My move. I'll summon Kaiser Vorse Raider in attack mode and set one card. That's it. Ha. Scratch the surface of greatness. You do know how to sling them, Kaiba boy. And they're all the funnier when you inevitably, tragically, fail. Well, I can't see your hand, but your opening move is rather weak. I won't even need to look into your mind. It's my move, and I'll start by playing Pot of Extravagance. Looks like among some of my banished cards are Dark Paladin, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Black Skull Dragon, now, I wonder where I got those. You make the cards. You can print them whenever you feel like it. True, true. But they did belong to you. Yugi boy, Joseph. Ugh, I know. You were victorious where you came from. That meant you were able to win once. Once? Thousands of times over. When it mattered the most, unlike you. I'll draw my two cards. I banish the top three cards of my deck to play Toon Kingdom. If a Toon would be destroyed, I can banish a card from the top of my deck, instead making them just as indestructible as Duelist Kingdom. Hardly. Next, I'll special summon Toon Cyber Dragon. What did he just- That's right, Zany Boy. I bested you as well. Took your soul, your brothers. <laughs> You're lucky I'm preoccupied with old Kaiba, Pegasus or I'd annihilate you. Get on with your turn! So impatient. Are you so eager to lose your soul again? I play Toon Page Flip. I'll select three Toon monsters from my deck, and you randomly pick one. Then it's summoned, ignoring summoning conditions. So for your viewing pleasure, here's Toon Buster Blader, Toon Dark Magician, and Toon Black Luster Soldier. The one on my right. Good choice! Toon Blackluster Soldier take to the stage, and I think I'll use his ability to outright banish your Vorse Raider. Toon Cyber Dragon unfortunately can't attack this turn, so your life points are safe for now. That it? Your bravado will not save you. I'll play Trade In, discarding my Blue Eyes Jet Dragon to draw two cards. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon? What on earth possessed me to make that card? Money, shockingly. That I would stoop to such a level. How embarrassing. By paying 1,000 life points, I activate Cosmic Cyclone. And with it, I'll banish your Toon Kingdom. Banishment? Think of all the fun you're missing out on. Oh, I'm not kidding anyone. You're not capable of that. But I am capable of this! I reveal a Blue Eyes White Dragon in my hand. Didn't need my eye for that. Which lets me summon Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. What? Did I adopt you in this timeline? Why my other self has done nothing but pamper you with these cards? I'll activate the effect of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon to destroy your Tomb Black Luster Soldier. But 
It can attack this turn. Oh, come on now. Because a monster was destroyed and a Blue-Eyes White Dragon is on my field. Blue-Eyes Jet Dragon summons itself from my graveyard. I believe the kids in my timeline call this... Uh, hmm... Broken BS. I'm really going to have a talk with myself. Maybe even steal my own soul. My Blue-Eyes Jet Dragon attacks your Toon Cyber Dragon, and now you're left with nothing! Nothing but... Five cards in my hand, Kyber Boy, one of them being Fusion Deployment. I'll reveal Gate Guardian, combined from my extra deck. Since when did Gate Guardian become a Fusion Monster? Which lets me summon Suijin from my deck in attack mode. You poached the deck of the Paradox Brothers, too? No relation to the time-traveling bus driver, of course. And yes, I did, after making some upgrades. Speaking of, I discard Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth to add Labyrinth Wall Shadow to my hand, and I'll immediately activate it. At the start of your battle phase, I can destroy any monster with 1600 attack or less. And it allows me to place the Gate Guardian pieces in my Spell and Trap Zone. Also, monsters level 4 or lower cannot attack on the turn they are summoned. Your memory is as bad as your outfit if you think that's going to cripple my deck. I'll set one card and end my turn. Ha! Huh. What could possibly have you grinning, Kyber boy? Mind if I start this off, Aster? By all means. In my time, I normally go first. But fine. I'll start things off with Hysteric Sign. This lets me add an elegant egotist to my hand, and if it gets destroyed, I get some goodies. Up to three Harpy cards. Next, I'll play Harpy Dancer, who takes on the name of Harpy Lady while on my field. This allows my elegant egotist to give me another Harpy Lady. Next, I'll bolster my defenses with Harpy's Pet Dragon, Fearsome Fire Blast. This loyal pet summons itself to the field if I control a level six or lower Harpy monster. Then I'll link my two Harpies together to Link Summon Harpy Conductor. Strange! Link Summoning isn't supposed to be around yet. You're a few years late, pal. Bah! That meddling with other dimensions. It must have somehow altered this timeline. Yeah, even I have Link Monsters. Some amusement parks just have really old dual fields that only support cards from like 10 years ago. But we got Link Summoning, Ixies, Synchro, Fusion. Pendulum. Ritual. Is that where it ends? Probably. Good. My turn. I draw! And I'll start with Pot of Greed. That's banned, dude. Not in my time. I made the latest ban list. Shockingly easy when you're one of the only remaining duelists. And with that update I just gave you, you're playing on my ban list too. That would have been nice to know. It also would have been nice to know that I have time-tearing Morganite. For the rest of the duel, this changes the rules for me. I can't activate monster effects in my hand, but I get to draw two cards during my draw phase, and normal summon twice per turn. If I ever even decide to do that, we'll see. Great. He's permanently got Pot of Greed. And actual Pot of Greed. If I had known we were playing traditional, I would have shown him some really stupid Destiny hero loops. I could have hit you with an FTK if I felt like it. But instead, I play Malefic Territory. This lets me activate Malefic World from my deck. And while that field spell remains on the field, it cannot be targeted by card effects. Since I know your harpies love to strike spells and traps. Figures. That still doesn't make you safe, pal. Next, I'll play Twin Twisters and destroy your face down and hysteric sign. Crap, that hits my mirror wall. My conductor can't save herself either. No one is safe. Not until I destroy dual monsters. And also, all the people that would stop me from destroying dual monsters. I have a lot of questions. They will have to wait! I banish Stardust Dragon from my extra deck to special summon Malefic Stardust Dragon. Then I'll banish a Malefic Paradox Dragon to summon Malefic Paradigm Dragon. Paradigm Dragon will use its effect 
to return Stardust Dragon to my extra deck and then immediately summon it. As a small cost, I just have to discard one card from my deck. That's a lot of big monsters. Luckily for you, the monsters have their effects negated during the battle phase. And Stardust Dragon cannot attack this turn. So, this is the future, huh? It's one big Unga Bunga beatdown deck. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. Your pet dragon is attacked by Paradigm Dragon. My pet dragon's effect activates in the grave, and I'll send Harpy Harpus to the grave from my deck. Malefic Stardust Dragon attacks your conductor. Then I'll set one card and end my turn. Because Hysteric Sign was destroyed, I get to add three Harpy cards to my hand. Harpy Oracle, Harpy's Feather Duster, and Harpy's Hunting Ground. And Harpy Harpist will put another Harpy Dancer in my hand. How predictable. Sorry, that wasn't the start I was hoping for. I'll take it from here. We only took 600 damage. Means even less since we have 16,000 life points. I draw, and then play Destiny Draw. I send Destiny Hero Dynatag to the grave and draw two more cards. Next, I'll summon d -cubed. By discarding two cards, I'll summon two more d -cubed. Then, I'll tribute all three to summon Destiny Hero Plasma, and he negates all monster effects and everything, but... I don't think you care. Not really. But I think what you do care about is when Destiny Hero Plasma absorbs your Paradigm Dragon, gaining half of its attack. You must think yourself so clever. Kinda. Hey, Paradox, Unga Boonga, dude. Destiny Hero Plasma destroys your Malefic Stardust Dragon. Thank you. I'll activate Malefic 2. Because you destroyed a Malefic monster, I get to draw two cards. Are you here to play dual monsters or go fish? How much do you want to bet he decks himself out at this rate? You need to survive to have a chance at that. I'll set a card and pass to you. I'll draw two. By banishing Cyber End Dragon, I'll summon Malefic Cyber End Dragon. I see now why he specifically asked if we knew what taking 4,000 damage was like. Malefic Cyber End Dragon attacks your plasma! Ah! Good thing Plasma deflected most of that damage from us. And now, Stardust Dragon will attack you directly. Ah! Nearly threw me into the ocean, and my ears, ow! Now do you see why this future cannot come to pass? I set two cards, and end my turn. I think you're going about this the wrong way, dude. This is a scorched earth strat. That always makes you look just as bad as the villains you're trying to stop. They just would have used other weapons instead of weaponized trading cards. The game corrupted them. The game became war. It started as war in the ancient times, apparently. All the more reason it should end. Its history is rooted in blood. Ugh. Zealot villains are the worst. They just talk at you. Then allow me to shut him up. I banish Dark Spirit's mastery from my graveyard to return spirit message H and A. Back to my deck. I always have the last laugh, Pharaoh. Just make your move. I sacrifice Diabolica, my unchained soul, and Ash Blossom to summon Ugh! the wicked Dreadroot, made by Pegasus to keep the Egyptian gods in check. You'll find they share many of their same protections. He's as strong as Obelisk! And he halves the attack and defense of every other monster on the field! While that includes my own, it's going to make fighting back a very distant prospect for you. And because a level 8 fiend monster was sent to my graveyard, Dark Spirit of Malice returns to my hand. What even is this thing? It's a wicked god! Next, I'll pay 1,000 life points to activate Delinquent Duo. One random card is sent from your hand to the graveyard. Then you can choose a second to join it. Hey man, that's also banned. I don't care. Just like super banned. Forever. For all time. I do not care. I am here for conquest, not tournament play. I'd personally find that boring. And it's going to be even more embarrassing when Yugi beats you. Please. 
He has two cards in his hand and an empty field. Speaking of, I attack directly with the wicked Dreadroot. And now with Curse Necrofell. I, I activate Magic Karibo to summon back Dark Magician. A pity your Dark Magic attack got sent to your grave. Now you can't stop my destiny board. Not that you can stop my field either. Why not play Magic Karibo earlier and stop the 1400 damage? We need Dark Magician on the field or we're not going to turn this around. Risky, but you two are the king of games. Ah, you see. He is. Technically the king of games. I lost this ritual duel. It was going really well until... it wasn't. And now he's stuck here. So, we're making the most of it. Sucks how strict ancient rituals are. You're telling me. I play Pot of Extravagance! I banish six cards from my extra deck to draw two! I'll activate my Dark Spirit of Malice to special summon a level 8 fiend monster from my grave with its effect negated. Dark Necrofear will return. I end my turn. Wow! All that conviction on your draw phase, only to realize you can do nothing. Should I get my deck ready? You should. I'll play my own pot of extravagance. Then I'll play Dimension Fusion to summon back two banished monsters. Your Electro Magna warriors get to return. He's toying with us. He could have tried to go for game, but he might know what we have. A hand trap? Graveyard. I'll tribute three monsters to summon the Wicked Eraser. Not only is it unaffected by Wicked Dreadroot, it gains 1,000 attack for every card you control. And if you manage to defeat it, it'll send every card on the field to the graveyard. Wouldn't that include? It would. The rest of my monsters attack your field. He's leaving himself open. It's not as easy as it looks. Dreadroot is having the attack of all monsters. We'll need to summon something with at least 2,000 attack to destroy it. And then that'll still clear our field too. I set a card and I'll summon Magic Karibo in attack mode. Then I'll play a favorite of yours, and mine. Change of heart, I'll target your cursed Necrofear. Amusing. Ha, Mr. Steal Your Monster is at it again. Next, I'll play Monster Reborn to bring back the Dark Magician. Now I'll link all three together to summon Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. What is with your cards and repetition? Don't know, don't care. I'll order him to attack Diabolica. This lets me use one of his effects to gain 1,500 attack. Thanks to Wicked Dreadroot, he's still stuck at 2250. You're only making my eraser more powerful. And the fourth letter of the Destiny Board is in play now. A pity my Wicked Eraser was such an easy target. I'll set another card. What are you two doing? We only have 1,900 life points, and Bakura has three cards in his hand. Even if we reset the field right now, we won't end on good terms. He might have something to counteract our graveyard trap. So, we're placing our bets elsewhere. It looks like you will perish before the destiny board completes. Wicked Dreadroot, attack Black Luster Soldier. <laughs> Yugi, you got this man? Now, Wicked Eraser, what? Hold on a second, Bakura. <sighs> hey man, I know this looks bad, but taking a call in the middle of a duel is rude. It's important. Are you serious? Fine, but make it quick. I'll give you to the count of ten. I draw. Then you take 500 damage from Nightmare Wheel. Next, I'll play Pot of Desires and banish ten cards from my own deck face down. Sure, who needs a quarter of their deck? Then I'll activate a card I'm sure you'll enjoy. Hyper Blaze. This lets me summon Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, even with face-down trap cards. Normally, it requires three face-up continuous traps. I see you got three over there already. I'll send Blazing Mirror Force to the grave, along with Awakening of the Sacred Beasts and Nightmare Wheel to summon the next Sacred Beast. 2,000 attack? That's manageable. Next, I'll summon Dark Beckoning Beast, and using its effect, I'll place a new Fallen Paradise in my hand. 
Uh, great. I'll play it and draw two cards. And now, I will sear the flesh from your bones. Uriah will attack your red-eyes darkness metal dragon. What you got up your sleeve, nah? A hyperblaze. By sending a trap to my graveyard, Uriah gains 1,000 attack for every face-up trap on the field and in the graveyard. Now, he's 5,000 strong. Ah, supply squad! Gets me! Another card! Ha 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 ha! By tributing Dark Beckoning Beast, I'll summon Dark Summoning Beast. This will let me fetch the final Sacred Beast. Come on, Lord of Striking Thunder! Then I play Cerulean Skyfire, which sounds cool, but I'm just confused. Is Skyfire supposed to be thunder? Lightning? The artwork just shows blue fire. Stop overthinking it. What does it do? If any sacred beast leaves my field, I take no damage for the rest of the turn. The rest? Ha ha ha. You'll have to find out for yourself. Well, first, I'm a draw. Then I'm equipping Black Metal Dragon to Red Eyes Gearfried. And rather than find out what Cerulean Skyfire does, I'm just going to blow it up. Gearfried, show him what we think of this cryptic baloney. You can't be serious. That was the one thing you could have done that I couldn't negate. Tough luck, Merrick! Next, I'm going to play Forbidden Droplet and send Hundred Dragon from my hand to the graveyard, and Red Eyes Gearfried will join him. Because Hundred Dragon was sent to the grave, he'll protect Dark Arm from destruction one time. If you want to suffer longer. Next, I'll activate Red Eyes Fusion. I'll send Immortal Phoenix Gearfried and Red Eyes Black Dragon to the graveyard and summon Red Eyes Slash Dragon. And then I'll play Harpy's Feather Duster and clear the field. <laughs> Sorry, you just decided to leave so much trash around that I, as an upstanding citizen, felt it was my duty to clean it all up. And now for the trash that's left, Red Eyes Slash Dragon and Dark Armed. Get them, boys! Immortal Phoenix Gearfried equips to Red Eyes Slash Dragon and raises his attack by 200! Is Gearfried trying to enter Phoenix mode? Ha! Now Dark Armed! Juragedo summons himself from my hand, increasing my life points by 1,000. Then he'll boost Uriah's attack by 1,000. Not gonna be enough. Dark Armed still tears him to shreds. That's it for me. I draw. Hmm. Well, this won't completely turn the situation around, but you will feel their pain. I play Raigeki. Oh no. Dark Armed endures thanks to Hundred Dragon. Gah! Ah! Then Immortal Phoenix Gearfried is summoned by Red Eyes Slash Dragon to take his place. And I draw a card. Thanks to Supply Squad. Chaz, you all right over there? I will be soon. I just have to keep walling him off. What about you? My opponent is claiming he can control my mind, but either he's lying or something is stopping him. There's some great power here. It's preventing me from focusing. Stop dual-wielding wine glasses and play! Draw! I'm gonna play Pot of Extravagance. Banish six from my extra deck and draw two. Then I'll play Rise of the Dragon Lords. I'll summon back Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Now. What's with that grin? One sec, pal. I need to make a phone call. We're dueling, you fool! Hey, you won't tell me, but I know someone who will. Tell you what? Wait! I activate Dictator of Dragon's special ability to summon him from my hand by sending a Blue-Eyes White Dragon to my grave. Then I'll use his ability. By discarding the Blue-Eyes in my hand, I can summon one to the field. And now... I activate Revived Sky God! I, I sacrifice, sacrifice my, my three, three monsters, monsters to summon! Slifer, the Sky Dragon! Obelisk, the Tormentor! Almighty protector of the sun and sky, I beg of thee, please heed my cry. Transform thyself from orb of light 
and bring me victory in this fight. I beseech thee, destroy this shadow game. But first, I must call out thy name. Weak Dragon of Wrath! What? This is a mockery! Whoa, what's that? It can't be! All three! I'm almost begging for someone to sing 99 bottles of beer on the wall. You say Jack is losing it. No one enjoys singing that song unironically. We might be about to die. And we'd never know because no one really understands time travel. If time wasn't moving, then we couldn't get bored, I think. Whatever goes on up in our brain to think, I'm bored, or I need a change of pace, wouldn't be advancing. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm getting hungry. You're in luck. It's an all-you-can-eat of rainbow sherbet. Never-ending. Always spinning. Like the wheels of our duel runners. See, he literally wants to eat time. He's losing it. Paradox wouldn't think of it, right? By your logic, it's genius. Oh, shut up. Driving backwards is a far more realistic prospect than eating time. What if you're inside's age? Or de-age? We're driving on it. It's probably not exactly nutritious at this point. Especially if it's been acting like a treadmill. What if we pretend we'll join his team? Help him on his time crusade? Oh, that won't work. He'd have to hear us first. And if he can, he just heard about your plan. Really wish I had the Crimson Dragon on speed dial. Speaking of, what's up with our marks? You'd figure they'd have done something by now. Doesn't look like they'll be bailing us out. Swirling rainbow disaster. I challenge you to a duel, and if I win, you have to let us out. Crow, it's time. It's not letting us... I'm stepping off my runner. That's the exact opposite of what you wanted to do earlier. Well, look at that! I'm barely even... <laughs> Swirling rainbow disaster. I challenge you to a duel, and if I win, you have to give Jack back and let us go. And these are my friends, and the world's best hope to stop paradox. Hey, no one happens to see a rewind button lying around, right?